This tutorial will give you an overview on how to configure the QuickBooks Interactive Link. To configure or use the QuickBooks Link, QuickBooks must be running and a QuickBooks Company file must be open in QuickBooks. To get started, click on the Tools Export to QuickBooks menu or just click the QuickBooks button on the toolbar. Then press the Setup button. The first time QuoteWorks communicates with QuickBooks, access will need to be granted to QuoteWorks. If you're logged into QuickBooks as a user with administrative rights, then you'll be prompted with this dialog to grant QuoteWorks access rights. If you're logged into QuickBooks as a user without admin rights, then you may receive an error message when QuoteWorks attempts to communicate with QuickBooks. When this window appears, you'll need to grant access to QuoteWorks. By clicking on the Yes Always button, you won't need to grant access to QuoteWorks again. This next window will prompt you to confirm your selection to give QuoteWorks access to QuickBooks. To continue, click the Yes button. Then press Done. When the Interactive Link Setup window appears, you'll see several tabs and drop-down menus. The first tab that we come to is the Transaction tab. On the QuickBooks tab, there are several drop-down menus. The Transaction Type drop-down will allow you to select whether you want QuoteWorks to export the document as a QuickBooks Estimate, Invoice, or Sales Order. Note that the Sales Order option is not available for all versions or editions of QuickBooks. The Job Name drop-down menu allows us to specify whether you'd like QuoteWorks to auto-generate the job name based on the document number or document name. This will be grayed out unless the Transaction Type drop-down menu is set to Estimate. Now for this tutorial, we'll set the Transaction Type to Invoice. The Invoice Estimate Number drop-down menu allows us to use the QuoteWorks document number or to use QuickBooks' own numbering sequence for the QuickBooks document number. The Date of Transaction drop-down menu lets you select the date that you want to appear as the date on the invoice when the document is exported to QuickBooks. You can choose from the date exported or the QuoteWorks document date. The Customer Message drop-down menu lets you select a message that you want to appear on your estimate or invoice. Please note that the items in this drop-down menu are created in QuickBooks. On the If the Item Does Exist drop-down menu, you can choose to have QuoteWorks update or not update the cost or price of the item if the item already exists in the QuickBooks item list. On the If Terms Does Not Exist drop-down menu, you can choose to be prompted if you want QuoteWorks to create terms for you, or if you want QuoteWorks to create the terms for you without asking when exporting as an estimate or invoice. On the If Ship Via Does Not Exist drop-down menu, if the shipping via in the document does not exist in QuickBooks, you can have QuoteWorks prompt you to create the shipping via method for you, or just create it without asking. On the If the Customer Does Exist, you can select to update or not update the existing customer information in QuickBooks when exporting as an estimate or invoice. The Memo field allows you to choose from pre-selected QuoteWorks macros, or you can choose to type in your own memo. The memo will appear in the Memo field in the QuickBooks document. If you use classes in QuickBooks, the Invoice Estimate class drop-down menu gives you several options to choose from. You can choose the Always Set As option and leave the selection box empty to not associate a class with the estimate or invoice, or you can choose the Always Set As option and select a class from the selection box to set the class name to the selected class name for every estimate or invoice exported. You can also choose the Retrieve from QuoteWorks Document Field option and select a field name like Sold to Price Profile, for instance. If you select this option, QuoteWorks will use whatever class name is listed in the QuoteWorks field as the class name for the document exported into QuickBooks. 
On the Quote Works tab, only documents that match the criteria in these three drop-down menus will be displayed in the Non-Exported Documents tab on the QuickBooks Batch Export window. The Batch Export window is the main window that you see when you first click the QuickBooks button to begin the export. The After Export drop-down menu lets you specify what the document status will be changed to on the QuoteWorks document after it's been exported to QuickBooks. This is done so that you can tell which documents have already been exported to QuickBooks. The Document Status field is located on the Sale Info tab in QuoteWorks. The Sales Tax tab determines how you want QuoteWorks to handle tax during the export to QuickBooks. If you check this checkbox, it will gray out all other selections and tells QuoteWorks that you don't collect or charge sales tax in QuickBooks. Now if you do charge sales tax in QuickBooks, you'll need to specify a sales tax item. The two radio buttons will determine if you want to set this tax item for all your estimates or invoices, or if you want to set this tax item as the default, but still give you the option to change it during the export. Now in the USA, tax items are either taxable or non-taxable. Because QuickBooks uses tax codes, you'll need to tell QuoteWorks which QuickBooks tax code to use for a taxable item and which to use for a non-taxable item. If you're using the Canadian tax scheme, please refer to the QuickBooks Accounting Link chapter in the QuoteWorks manual for more information. Each document that you create in QuoteWorks can have different line types, such as percent discounts, percent charges, subtotal lines, and shipping items. This is what the Mappings tab is for. This is where you'll specify the QuickBooks counterparts for each of the QuoteWorks line types. Since QuoteWorks supports the use of different part numbers like manufacturer part number and vendor part number, this drop-down list allows you to select which of QuoteWorks part numbers you'll use to match up with your QuickBooks part number. The default is the QuoteWorks manufacturer part number. If you don't use either the QuoteWorks vendor part number or manufacturer part number, you can use the custom fields in QuoteWorks. Please refer to the QuickBooks accounting link chapter in the QuoteWorks manual for more information on using the custom fields. The Discount Item drop-down menu correlates to percent discount line types in your QuoteWorks documents. If your QuickBooks installation does not already have a discount type of line item, you can create it by selecting the Create in QuickBooks Now option from the list. The same applies for these drop-down menus which correlate to percent charge items, subtotal line items, and shipping charge items respectively. The Convert Grouped Items to Single Item drop-down menu allows you to combine all items in a grouped bundle so that they only export as a single line item into QuickBooks. If you check this checkbox, you'll need to set the tax code. The Leave Sales Rep blank checkbox will be checked if you don't use sales rep IDs on your QuickBooks estimates or invoices. If you do use sales reps, you'll need to click the Setup button to map the QuoteWorks full username to the initials being used in QuickBooks for the desired sales rep. The next tab is the Defaults tab. When exporting line items from your quote into QuickBooks and they don't already exist in QuickBooks, you'll be prompted to select from the following item types. Now depending on which of these you select, you'll be prompted for the values that you see below. You can choose not to set defaults, however, you may want to set defaults for these values if you use the same ones frequently. You'll have the option to change the default value in real time during the export. If you'd like a full explanation of each one of these values, please refer to the QuickBooks Accounting Link chapter in the QuoteWorks manual. The last tab in the QuickBooks Link Setup is the Items tab. If you click this checkbox, you'll be able to access the QuickBooks item list from QuoteWorks. This is a nice feature since you won't have to export the item list from QuickBooks and then import them into QuoteWorks so that the product sources match. When you're finished selecting your setup options, click the OK button. This will return you to the Batch Export window where you can begin exporting documents to QuickBooks.